All week long, we're giving you a, a little escape as, you, as we hit the road for Chuck's latest big adventure. Earlier this fall, he got the chance to travel way up to northern Michigan to check out one of the most iconic towns in the country. And I know you can't go to Mackinac Island and not try the fudge. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> one of the things it's known for. In fact, they call it the fudge capital of the world. In fact, this island has many unique features, including the fact that there are no cars allowed, but the only way to get around is by horse or bike. The other thing Mackinac Island is known for, the fudge. It seems about every other shop makes and sells fudge. They have every variety you can imagine, from the traditional chocolate to unique flavors like strawberry or pistachio. They even have sugar-free. Of course, we had to see what it was all about, so we stopped at Riva's Fudge Shop, a place that's been family-owned for four generations. Now, guests can watch as the fudge is poured and shaped, a process that requires a lot of skill just to get it right. So we had to know, what is it that makes Mackinac Island fudge, and Riva's in particular, so different? I'd always heard about Mackinac Island fudge, and I just equated it with what you would buy at a store. This is nothing oh, like that. No. This, is a, this is an art form, this, right? This is, yes, this is, uh, I, I would say it's a lost art, but it's not because we're up here. But it is not, when you go into a gas station and they have fudge, it is not like this. So ours is very creamy. It doesn't have that kind of gritty uh, yes. sugar taste. Yes. Some people prefer that because that's what they grew up, maybe their grandma, that's, that's how grandma's was. But if you like creamy and smooth, there's no substitute for our fudge. Well, the best news, you don't have to travel all the way to Mackinac Island to get some of Riva's fudge. They ship the goodies year round. And I've got a link in my blog at WTHR.com slash Chuck's Big Adventure. And you know, our trip to Mackinac has just started. Ahead at 6 o'clock, we're taking you back inside the Grand Hotel. We'll talk tea, tradition, and that epic front porch. Plus, we answer the all-important question, What's the deal with all the horses? <laughs> 500 of them on this tiny strip of land in the middle of the Straits of Mackinac. Because you can't have cars there, right? Cannot have cars. I find that so interesting. Can I give you one trivia question? Do we have time for that? Sure. Yes. There was one person who broke the um, uh, no car uh, law in Mackinac Island. He is from Indiana. What is his name? Mike Pence. Mike Pence, that's <laughs> yeah, right, because the vice president uh, went last year to speak and the Secret Service said, we can't have him yeah. getting on no horse. <laughs> right, right. Uh, we're going to have to have a, a motorcade. Nobody saw the motorcade. It was from this little airstrip to the back of the Grand Hotel. I only knew that because you told me yeah. that way. I never would have gotten <laughs> that right. in a million years. Well,